Okay, this problem here, we're going to uh, simplify it, but the first thing we're going to have to do is take care of order of operations. It says do uh, parentheses with exponents first. So that means I'm going to have to go over here and multiply x minus 4 times x minus 4. So that's going to give me a x squared and a minus 4x. And then when I multiply that negative 4 through, that'll give me another minus 4x. And then minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16. So basically this thing here becomes x squared minus 8x plus 16. So that's your first step. Now what I have to do is I have to distribute that 3 into this parenthesis here. So I'll take my 3 and multiply it into this. So that's going to give me a 3x squared minus 24x plus 48. Then I'm going to have to take my pot, this 3 and distribute it into this parenthesis. So that's going to give me a 3x and a minus 12. And then I have a plus 7 on the end. So once I combine all those like terms together, and I like to write them so they do line up, that will give me a 3x squared uh, minus 21x. And then 48 minus 12 is 36 plus 7 would be 43. So that gives you the idea of what you have going on there. So um, these are take a little bit longer, but if you take them a step at a time, you should be able to get them right. Uh, something that looks a little bit different, but it's actually very similar to what we've done before, is putting a quadratic equation in standard form. Uh, standard form for a quadratic equation means I want everything on the same side, so usually on the left side. So to move variables around, we've done this before, we can subtract the 2x squared from both sides. And I also need to subtract the 5 from both sides. So everything on this side is gone. And then on the other side, I have 3x squared minus 2x squared is 1x squared. You could just do a plain x squared, but 1x squared. Then this 5x in front is a positive, so plus 5x, and then a minus 5. You do notice when I write it in standard form, I go from the highest exponent down to the lowest exponent. And the only thing left on the other side is an equal 0, and I do think it wants you to have that equal 0. Uh, we're doing this because soon we'll be solving these, and this is kind of the first step in solving one of these, is to get everything on one side in standard form. Uh, some of them are shorter than others, like on this one, the only thing you have on the right side is the minus 3, so you're going to add 3 to both sides, and since there is a plain number, I'm going to line it up under the plain number. So uh, at this point, I just write it in standard form by putting everything in order, negative 3x squared minus 2x and then minus 19, and don't forget your equals zero. Okay. Uh, sometimes you'll want to divide off a negative, but I don't think it makes you do that in Delta Math. We'll try one more of these just to be thorough. Um, I like to get everything on the left. You could subtract the 8x squared to get it on the right, but I like to do minus 4x squared on both sides. But if I'm going to subtract off my 4x squared, I'm also going to have to subtract off my minus 8x on both sides. And I'll have to subtract off my 13 on both sides. So everything has to end up on the same side. And then standard form means to put it in order. So 8 minus 4 is 4x squared. Then my x is, so it's a minus 8x and my numbers are minus 13, equals zero, and that's a very nice standard form equation. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to do these type of problems. Not too bad, just getting everything on one side. The only difference from what we have done before is we are literally getting everything, not just the x's, but the x's, the x squareds, and the numbers all on the same side, because anytime you have an x squared, that's your first step in being able to find the solution.